How's it going? My name's Evan, and welcome to episode 16 of Bro It Was Suited. We're back at Horseshoe Casino for some more 1-3 no limit. We buy in for our usual 300, and let's get into it. So we start off by winning a small pot with Ace-Queen, but then I realize just a table over is another Maryland poker vlogger, Tony G410. I had a brief chat with him, he's a really nice guy. If you like watching poker vlogs from Maryland, and want to watch someone who actually knows what they're doing, I definitely recommend you checking out his channel. So the first interesting hand comes when we pick up pocket nines in the small blind. There's a button straddle and I decide to open it to $20. Middle position player calls and the button calls as well. So we see a flop three ways that comes king jack eight. I decide to keep the betting lead here so I make it $20 and only middle position calls. The turn now comes a three. I decide to slow down and check and he actually checks it back. The river now comes a ten of spades bringing in backdoor spades and making the board pretty connected. I decide this is a pretty scary board and I feel like I can get him off a hand like Jack X or 10X with a bet. So I decide to bet $40 here as a bluff and he goes pretty deep into the tank. After some time though, he does make the call and he ends up having Ace Queen for the Ace High straight. Even the dealer was a little confused on why he took so long, but oh well. So the table goes down to playing five handed. I decide to move to a new table. And the first interesting hand at this new table comes when we pick up jacking off in middle position. One limp to me, I make it 15 to go and we get a call from the small blind, big blind, and the player to my right. So we're seeing a flop four ways in position that comes jack high with two diamonds. It checks all the way to me, I decide to bet here for $25 and unfortunately no one seems to have anything as every player decides to fold. So I went on the streak of winning a small pot or losing a small pot. Sometimes I would raise it up pre-flop and not get any action, but overall my stack stayed at about the same amount. Next interesting hand comes when we pick up Jack 8 of Diamonds in the big blind. It folds all the way to the button who makes it $7. The small blind folds and I decide to make the call here. So we see a flop heads up that comes 5, 6, 9. I check it to him and he decides to check it back. The turn now comes another 6. I check it to him and now he bets $10. I feel like I'm sensing some weakness here, so my plan is to make the call and then lead out on the river as a bluff. So that's what I do, I make the call here. So the river now comes at 10, and although we only have jack high here, we do have some key blockers that lower the chances of him having a straight. So for that reason, I decide to fire $20 here as a bluff, and unfortunately, he snap calls and shows six, seven. So he turned three of a kind, and my read was a little off. Now for the next hour, we were just extremely card dead. I couldn't get a single playable hand, I mean not even like a suited one gapper or anything. So for the next hour, I was just getting pretty frustrated and just folding away a ton of hands. Any somewhat playable hands, we would just have to fold post flop, just not really connecting with the board. But after some time, we look down at pocket jacks. So I'm under the gun plus two here, and under the gun plus one opens it to $18. This should have been my first red flag, because this is a pretty big open, especially being the first player to act. But being so card dead, I was so happy to finally play a hand. I decide to 3-bet this to $50. So it folds all the way back to him, and after he thinks about it for a bit, he decides to min 4-bet me to $100. Now this is the second red flag, because if he had a hand like Ace-King, he would have just gone all in, or made the call. But since he min 4-bet me, it's pretty obvious he has a really strong hand here. I'm thinking aces are kings most likely. But being so far on tilt, I decide to go all in for my remaining 150, and of course, he makes a call. So the flop comes ace-king-6, so if there's any chance of us being ahead, we aren't anymore. The turn comes at 10, however, so any queen probably gives me the best hand here with this straight. But unfortunately, the river comes a 7, and we don't improve. I flip over my jacks, and of course he has pocket kings. And of course after this, it was time to head out. So we were in for 300, out for zero. I really didn't like how I played that last hand, but our 16 episode total is 1759. So for those who don't know, I make a vlog every time I play, so if you have any feedback on if I should post every time I play, or maybe you just post the interesting times I play, feel free to leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.